have something I want to tell you. I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. You are the waviest subscribers in the world. Like, for real. I, I wouldn't ask for better subscribers. And I'm in no rush to have a million subscribers. Because I want everybody that comes to my channel and that stays on my channel to love my channel. And I'm glad you continue to come back. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. There's a lot more to come. But, yeah. Oh, one more thing before I go. Don't forget that I'm having the 500 subscriber giveaway from ColourPop. I need y'all to enter if y'all want to. If y'all want to win, it'll be ending soon though. But yeah, don't forget to click on my Instagram. The link is down below. Again, I love you beauties. Thanks for watching. Matter of fact, before you even watch this video, I'm going to need you to subscribe. If you ain't subscribed already, hit like. I'll wait. You done? Okay. <laughs> don't forget to do that. And... I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> Hi beauties and welcome back to Plus Size by Default. Today's video is not about makeup even though today I am glowing. There's a lot of things I want to show y'all that I recently, you know, I'm trying to think. But this video is going to be a rant about how sick and tired I am. <laughs> I'm done with dealing with bullshit, drama, unloyalty. <sighs> I'm just in the midst of having a breakdown, y'all. Like, I just need to talk to my bitches. You feel me? <laughs> like, for real. Um, first off, first thing I want to address is the eyebrow jokes. The, oh, you have to draw your eyebrows. And why do y'all hate? Why must you, like, why not just embrace my talent? Hit me up, your girl. Can you do my eyebrows for me? Like, it's not that hard to just, it's, I'm one text away. Because all I ever see on Instagram like, don't throw shade. But anywho, I just needed to address that. But, and for girls that don't wear makeup, but got on concealer right here. But just because you don't wear foundation doesn't mean you're just not wearing makeup. Like, girl, bye. Um, so, I need y'all right now. We're just going to take like 10 seconds just to... Real quick, alright? Just to like relieve stress. This video is just a time to relax and vent. Well, I'm talking to you, talk back to me. Like, yeah, boo. That's right. Like, you feel me? I do it all the time. <laughs> Obviously, because I'm talking to the camera. I can't see you, but heck. Bitch, I don't know. I just am the type of person where I want all of us to sit together. I want everybody to win. Because it may be something that I know that you don't know and that I can share with you. And it may be something that you know that I don't know that you can share with me. So it's like we all can help each other build instead of like stepping on each other we could lift each other to the next level you know what i'm saying it's not always about hating or like embrace your fellow beauty i love that bitches that's my fucking problem like don't be a hater hating is bad it causes wrinkles i think a couple of bitches that died from it but i don't really know i don't i don't check for those but <laughs> i'm experiencing a lot of unloyalty like I'm a type of person where I will jump out the window for you. But there's a lot of people that are in my circle, well, that were in my circle that wouldn't do the same for me. It's like, that shit is sad. So I decided that I'm burning bridges. Where my light at? I'm cutting. Okay, I don't got a light, but I got scissors. I'm cutting bitches off. I'm cutting everybody off. Everybody gets cut off. Chop, chop. It's time to start building for my future. If you're not trying to add positivity to my life, you're not even if it, it's not even all about money. It's about positive thoughts, embracing me. We doing the same for each other. Like we motivating each other. I don't need you around me. I'm trying to make big moves. I'm trying to make a name for myself. You feel me? And if you're not trying to be a part of that while the train and the ball is rolling, then I don't need you to be there when the shit take off full speed. You feel what I'm saying? And this is why I want to talk to y'all about it. Because I know there's a lot of girls out there that's like, yeah, I have a lot of friends that don't really support what I do. Or when shit is good, everybody wants to be a friend. And I'm like, I could definitely relate. Trust me. I'm a loner. I'm by myself most of the time. I don't like really to be around people. I got my little select few people that I fuck with. Other than that, 
I'm by myself. And you know what the crazy thing about that is? It is okay. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, you have to be out pop. I'm not a club person. I am a homebody. You don't have to be out popping, shaking your ass to be popping, boo. I'm the life of the party. You either going to fuck with me or you're not. Do you know how many people live in this world? You don't feel like you just specify to the people that you know in your neighborhood or the people you know in your city. It, it's a whole big world out there. It's a lot of people out there that you're going to meet. And your life is not over. It's just beginning. Like, remember that. Like, I have to really sit here and think sometimes. Like, yo, I'm 22 years old, right? I'm about to sit here and soak over some bullshit. When I probably won't remember this in the next couple of months. I waste my time, valuable time that I'll never get back. Or some bullshit when I could be thinking about the goals, the places I'm going to go, the people I'm going to see. Like, I'm just loving how positive I'm becoming. I'm just, it's, it's like a deep breath. Not having to stress and think about irrelevant shit. Just as like a weight off your shoulders. So it's just like, I just like to relate to the girls that are like me. I am... A tall plus size black woman. Bitch. I got everything in one bottle. One fucking bottle. And I'm trying to in introduce myself into the makeup world. Speaking of that. One thing I want to say though is. Don't feel like because you see all these other makeup artists and all these YouTubers so popping and you know they getting free stuff and they getting shouted out by the top name brand makeup brands or whatever don't get discouraged because this is the thing i need people to understand that everybody started from somewhere not they didn't wake up like that just like you get up and you put your makeup on and you show your talent and you body your fucking looks same way they do don't get discouraged because they had to work to get to where they had too and if they didn't, in time, it'll show. For example, if I, you was to copy my makeup look and you don't give me credit and try to recreate it like it was your own type shit. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't take that as shade. I would take that as, you know, that's inspiration. But it is kind of true. If you do happen to see a picture of somebody doing makeup look and you know, oh, that's fire. Because I do it all the time. Like, oh, that's fire. That's cute. I want to try it. Even if you do remix it to your own look, shout the person that you got it from out. Because a lot of people work hard on the shit they do. Like, I take this shit real serious. Real serious. Like, <laughs> I love makeup. <laughs> like, if it was a purge right now, and they was like, Ooh, go kill your enemy, fuck an enemy, take me to Mac. Take me to where the makeup is at. I'm finna rob this hoe bitch. Dead ass, like, and that's what I'm learning. I'm not worried about you hitting me up saying, Girl, yes, slay, yeah, you better. Because the bitch already told herself that a hundred times. I look in this right here. Look at this right here. I got a big ass one sitting right here. And every time you see me look over here, I'm looking at myself because I'm looking at myself like, Boom, you better slay, you better kill, talk your shit, like, be confident, love yourself. If you don't love yourself, nobody else will love you. <laughs> Dead ass. How can you expect somebody to love you if you don't love yourself? And then it's like, you can't regulate somebody and expect them to respect you if you don't respect yourself. It all comes, all this shit kind of works together. It's like, don't expect some shit that you wouldn't be able to put out. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, are you single and you mingling? Don't fall into the traps. Not every nigga's for you. If a nigga is going to talk crazy to you because you're not having sexual intercourse with him, that nigga is not for you. You feel me? Because you don't want to be with a nigga that's out here slinging his dick everywhere. If y'all go out and he thinking, all right, well, I just paid for this bitch dinner. I'm going to get some pussy. You don't need to be with that nigga. Like, really though. It's not wrong with being alone for a little while. You got a long life to live. You're not getting married tomorrow. You better date. Find a nigga that's willing to wait. And push. Because I'm realizing that <laughs> be happy. 
stop looking for it if you already got it like i'm so destined to be like yeah i want this but it's what the ideal image is what are you really looking for what you're looking for is not what's looking for you what's looking for you is what's for you so stop looking for it let it come to you you know what i'm saying like um just love yourself and allow other people to love you embrace it when somebody cares for you and they genuinely show interest you know what i'm saying don't don't push people like that away because you're gonna end up alone with 30 cats and your skin is gonna be wrinkly and your house is gonna stink <laughs> like don't don't be that lady don't be the cat lady with the boarded up windows on elliot street okay don't be her I just want to say I love y'all. I totally appreciate all the love and support y'all give me. Um, Facebook, Twitter. Oh, yeah. I got Twitter now. So, y'all can follow me on Twitter at The Selfie Slayer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I have something I want to tell you.